My name is Leroy Mosar, aged 17 years and 5 months. I designed a human waste bioreactor. Recently, Maseno School's newest dormitory, which has a capacity of 720 students, was completed. The waste that comes from this dormitory will find its way to nearby springs of water that are the main source of water to this local community. We put ourselves to task to design a human waste bioreactor that will use this waste that comes from the dormitory. For this prototype, we used organic waste. This includes food remain, cow dung, and also slashed grass. What inspires me are the dreams that I usually have for the community and for the betterment of the country. Uh, firewood, we spend uh, close to 80,000 in a month. We cut down trees, convert into firewood. This firewood has, uh, has got a lot of disadvantages. Mm. Oh, the eyes. Uh, the eyes. The eyes. Yeah. And also the breathing. The breathing is worse. And here are my colleagues. Almost dead. Charles. Awa, wana kuja hapa kila subui. After mixing it with the ratio 1 to 1 with water, we feed it into the register. What I have here is the amount of waste that is usually disposed every day. We mix it till it becomes a thick paste mixed with water and all this other vegetable matter. This is some of the cow dung waste that we had put in from the farm. Now when we put this mixture, at least it will enable the bacteria to have some motivation so that they can continue anaerobically. Once all that stuff has decomposed, it becomes denser and it moves to the lower part of the digester. And then that which is less dense comes up and that's how we get the gas. We have that pipe that is dug underground and dug all the way here. So we have this part going to the kitchen. Here we have our clean renewable energy. But now if we have this biogas project, there will be no need for cutting of firewood. The biogas will simply be coming from human waste. Therefore there will be a constant supply in fuel and we shall be able to save the trees and in effect save the environment.